Today, let us start with exercise 7a, coordinate geometry, question number 1, number 3. Find the distance between the following points. We have to find the distance. So, we have to use the distance formula. So, remember when you have the point, uh, coordinate point. So, the first one will be x, next will be y. Here is x, here is y. So we can write x1 equal to a, then y1 equal to 0. Then this one we take it as scan point. So x2 will be 0, y2 will be b. Remember we have x, y, x, y. So we have to find the distance. So we use distance formula x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. So let's replace it. D, let it remain D. Here we have square root. x2 we get equal to 0. Minus x1 we have A whole square plus y2 we have B minus y1 0 whole square. So, a minus 0, it will be a. And then, b minus 0, it will be b. So, here, 1 is a, 1 is b. They are unlike term. We cannot plus, we cannot minus. So, that will be the answer. Okay? Remember, when the terms are unlike terms, we cannot plus, we cannot minus. Same way, we'll go to number 4. We have to find the distance between these two points. So here also we'll have this one as our x1, y1, x2, y2. Since we have to find the distance between them, that means we have to apply distance formula. Here our x1 will be cos theta. Our y1 will be 0. Then x2 will be 0, y2 will be sine theta. Since we have to find the distance between them, let us replace in the formula, distance formula. Okay, square root of x2 minus x1 whole square minus y2 minus y1 whole square. So our x2 here is given to be 0. Minus x1, we take it as cos theta, whole square. Then plus y2, it's given to be sine theta. Then minus y1, y1 is 0 whole square. So 0 minus cos theta, it will remain cos theta. And then 0 minus sine theta. It will remain sine theta. So square will be remaining. Then here we will have minus to minus plus. So we can remove the bracket now. Plus sine square theta. Then here you see from trigonometric ratio, okay, this value cos square theta plus sine square theta from trigonometric ratios, this value is equal to 1. So square root of 1 means 1. So the distance between these two points is equal to 1 units. So similar way, let us try with number 5. Here also, we can take this one as our x1, y1 x2, y2. Next, we have to find the distance between them. 